March the 9th, 2023. Guys, we've seen a lot of companies go woke and go broke very quickly. We saw it happen to Anheuser last week. I don't think they're going to recover. Instead of shooting themselves in the foot, they shot themselves in the head. So be it. No big deal. Now, this is a little different, but the reason I'm using the Anheuser thing is when something gets too big, too powerful, it's the people that can take it down. You and I. You pull that money out from under these beasts and they fall. This is going to be an important video because some of you need to pay attention. I don't do business with J.P. Morgan and Chase, but you're looking at picture Jamie Dimon. He's a, one of the uh, people that love to go to Davos and talk with the, the demons there. And he's a big banker. You see him on CNN and all most of you have heard of him. He's the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. One of the largest banks in the U.S. is advocating for the forcible seizure of American land. In an annual shareholder's letter, he advised that seizing private property might help the U.S. cope with what? Not starvation. Not drought. Climate crisis. The fake climate crisis. Now, you're looking at someone that has sold a soul, maybe a long time ago, but it seems that that is that that evil spirit is getting into more and more people quicker and quicker, or like the quickening as we move forward into uh, what I consider revelation. Let me read this to you, and again, it's up to us, the people, to take the foundation out from under these beasts. Now, this story is on uh, Gateway Pundit, but it's this section is from 100% Fed Up. It says the CEO began his letter, this is to his board and members, by admitting to shareholders that the pandemic in the Ukraine war has taken a toll on the bank. It wouldn't have if you hadn't got woke and started sending all your money over there. Across the globe, 2022 was another year of significant challenges, from a terrible war and growing geopolitical tensions, particularly with China, to a politically divided America. Almost all nations felt the effects of the global economic uncertainty, including high energy, food prices, mounting inflation rates, and volatile markets, and of course, the COVID-19 lingering impacts. That is really what started it. It was a takedown and uh, based on fear. Diamond continued, while all these experiences or associated turmoil have serious ramifications on our company, colleagues, clients, and the countries in which we do business, their consequences on the world at large with the extreme suffer suffering of the Ukrainian people at the hands of who? Zelensky. And the potential restructuring of the global order are far more important. The global order restructuring. Guys, you understand what that is, don't you? The Great Reset. Destroy it, build it back in their image. But then Diamond surprised shareholders when he brought an update on specific on a specific issue facing our company under the climate complexity and planning subsection and spoke on eminent domain. Eminent domain is the legal theory enabling governments to seize private property for public use. The property owners reimbursed for their possessions is generally or their reimbursement is generally less than the value of the property that was taken. They steal it from you, force you to sell it, kick you out and give you dimes on the dollar. Following previous climate fear mongers like Al Gore, Diamond warned shareholders that time is running out. Global warming is going to take over. That's what they're putting. Another fear factor being pushed. The window for action to avert the costliest impacts of global climate change is closing. Guys, the cost, costliest impacts on this globe are the war demons. Babylon. And you know where that's at. He said the, uh, and he added to expedite progress in this climate war. Governments, businesses, and non-governmental organizations need to align across a series of practical policy changes that comprehensively address fundamental issues that are holding us back. Massive global investment in clean energy technologies must be done and must continue to grow year over year, Diamond noted. He described the need to employ practical policy changes and said that 
Uh, that could include utilizing eminent domain to take private property in order to fight climate control. Now, these demons don't really believe in climate control at all. They believe in taking everything you've got, and you'll have nothing and be happy. At the same time, permitting reforms are desperately needed to allow investment to be done in any kind of timely way. We may even need to invoke eminent domain. Take everything you have, your land, your home, your farms, businesses. West Virginia State Treasury Riley Moore pointed out the devastation that could be caused by the U.S. government simply seizing personal property. He tweeted, J.P. Morgan's CEO wants to use eminent domain to build more wind and solar farms. If you think food and energy prices are bad now, just wait until the government starts seizing farmland to build solar panels. This kind of thinking poses an existential threat to the middle class. Again, this is an unelected official, but J.P. Morgan pays a lot of politicians in their campaigns. Diamond, who is yet to offer his private property to the government for less than its value, tried to make his suggestion sound less tyrannical and extreme by saying green energies are not advancing quickly enough. We simply are not getting. Now, this is typical Democrat uh, uh, hypocrisy. We simply are not getting the adequate investments fast enough for grid, solar, wind, and pipeline initiatives. This is incredible sentence here of stupidity, guys. You, you get the money, you send it to Ukraine, it is laundered back to the Democrats. We know the game, but you're not getting the money here for to take people's lands. So you want to take people's lands. And when you say wind and pipeline initiatives, why is the administration that you promoting taking down the advancement of the pipelines? What is your real goal here? It is to take everything that people have, run them off the land, force them into camps. Diamond comments are reminiscent of World Economic Forum's founder, Klaus Schwab's eerie promise you will own nothing and be happy. One Twitter user responded that J.P. Morgan and Chase Bank customers should pull their accounts as soon as possible to make Diamond shut his mouth while also pointing out that the communist desire to strip Americans of their land Earned assets is alive and well. That's why I'm doing this video. It is alive and well. They're shifting left and right, trying to dance away from one disaster they create and then go and create another one. But uh, the it, people are really coming down on this. And guys, I'm going to ask you if you are dealing with J.P. Morgan Chase. Can you not change your banks? Can you not do what the people did with Anheuser-Busch and Nike in the last week or so? Yes, you can. But if you're going to complain, but you're going to keep your money there, it's by some excuse, oh, it's, I've been there for my whole life, I'll have to change it, whatever, then live with the beast. Because it is time that the people stand up and take the blocks, the foundation, out from under these beast systems. And it's going across Twitter now. This is Dr. Lynn Flynn. She says, this will be the strategy in getting to the you will own nothing and be happy part of world communism. They will use climate change as an excuse. How about everyone pull their money out of J.P. Morgan Chase as soon as possible to let him know to shut his mouth. What will happen is more than likely he will lose his job, just like Anheuser-Busch fired uh, the entire marketing department last week. Too late. And it's going to be too late for J.P. Morgan Chase if enough people stand up. Do you want to lose everything you got? This is the first big creep since, uh, well, it started 2019. You know what that was, of totalism and takeover. Now, if you're with them, come in and comment. Um, if you're with any bank that is doing this, which a lot of them are walking uh, lockstep, I know that. But we have to start somewhere, and this is at the top. Just like we're seeing in France, where are they occupying millions of people? Black Rock. They're going over there, and they're marching right through all the buildings, lighting fires. Doesn't matter. They have had enough. And they don't have a Second Amendment. And uh, you don't have to use violence. But the powers that be 
live off the backs of their slaves and the tax dollars. You got to pay your taxes or you go to jail, but you don't have to promote this beast system. It will be one step at a time, guys, but we need to do something. Yeah, and I hope everyone's had a great uh, holiday. Um, it, I think it's a lot, a lot of the other holidays has been really abused and used, and it's not about rabbits and Easter baskets and eggs. Those are signs of fertility of Easter, goddess of fertility. So I don't really care to participate in that kind of nonsense at all. It's about the first Passover and then the, the last Passover, and that was when uh, Christ rose. So it's much more than a pagan goddess of fertility. Think about that, but most of you know that. But what you need to do now is where's your money? Is it in this beast system that we're talking about that wants to take over everything in the U.S., including everything you own? And they will value it at their price. And when you're dealing with a banker, you're not going to come out very well. We're watching this, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.